Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn here reporting from the Unifocus booth at High Tech 2024. I'd love to thank Unifocus, technology that delivers value. Please check them out at unifocus.com. Got James Turnbull over here with KSL Resorts. James, technology has gotten so out of control. How are you thinking about your tech stack and bringing all the hotels under the KSL Resorts banner together, technologically speaking? Yeah, it's a great question. It's an area we've been focused on for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. We've been looking at how do we consolidate our tech stack? How do we find specific vendors who work really well with us in the space? Mm-hmm. How do we then start leveraging them together to manage the data flow so we can go from the point of reservation, guest arrival, guest stay, understanding post stay for our surveying, and then the analytics of it. What was the guest experience like? How can we improve? How do we make them a guest for life? Really get actionable insights at this point is what you're saying. So let me ask you this, James. What does consolidation really mean to you? Does it mean less vendors, less programs? What? How does that express itself? Great question. It's what we've done historically is we had a very bespoke approach where each property had separate vendors that were really tailored to right. individual property. We're preparing for a, a stage of growth, really. And what we want to do is figure out how do we best leverage our vendors to make sure that we're using consistent vendors. We can be more effective, more efficient on our end. We can then consolidate the data and we can analyze it on a like-for-like basis versus having to put it through translations before we can work with the information. Ultimately, the goal is to get rich data that we can then distribute to our teams, whether it be an operational team, management team, or an ownership group. Are there solutions out there to meet your needs right now? Or is it still like we hope when we get to the end of this, that it'll be there? (laughs) Yeah, we have a few vendors we've selected that we started working with. Uh, We really started looking at the reservation process, someone like Sabre or some extra Mm students working with, the PMS choice that we're going through, and we're doing an RFP for that at the moment. The output being our our other POS vendors, systems like that. And then there's the data warehousing tools. So we've been working with uh, Data Vision, now Otelia, Mm -hmm. for almost 20 years. Wow. Uh, We've had a long-standing relationship with them. We have millions of data points in that solution. Now it's starting to make it more actionable. How do we start pulling the information out, passing it, and using it day to day? All right, so when you have all of this, and let's just say you've reached the panacea, you are there. Does this mean that you're gonna really be able to understand each individual guest and then create offers for them and then get them to spend more money, theoretically? I think that's where we'd like to go, yeah. I'm saying if we've had a customer who's visited us at multiple properties yeah. or multiple visits to an individual mm-hmm. property, what did they do? When they went to our restaurants, were they ordering the same bottle of wine every time? Can we then use that to target them as a right. entity in their room on arrival? Um, understanding what their habits are, their tendencies, and then looking on more macro level as well. So if we're running a ski mountain, mm-hmm. if we're using RFID tracking around the mountain, where is the guest at different times in the day? And then we can staff around that. We can also position right. ourselves commercially. Uh, to manage that that guest expectation. So what if you have a ski mountain, an outdoor water park, and an indoor water park, which you might have in Pennsylvania, Camelback. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I mean, it's it's a challenging property, right? They're they're such different businesses, and they all have to roll up together. And we have guests who come in and stay at the hotel who don't touch the ski mountain. And we have guests who come in and they do everything. Yeah. Um, And so understanding what they like doing and really tailoring our marketing around that as well down the line, uh, and then understanding... How can we drive revenue? How can we drive future revenue, make them a guest for life, a returning guest? But also then, how do we manage the operation day to day effectively, depending on which guests are in house, and then start really driving profitability for the end? Sounds, the whole thing sounds complicated. It's a good thing they got a guy like you trying to figure it all, Thank all out. James, thanks so much for being here. And with that goal of you guys for all watching, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, text the word hotel to 66866. So for James and myself, Glenn, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.